The flashy postcard, covered with images of syringes, beckoned people to attend VaxCon 21 to learn the uncensored truth about COVID-19 vaccines participants traveled from around the country to a Wisconsin Dells resort for a sold-out convention that was, in fact, a sea of misinformation and conspiracy theories about vaccines and the pandemic. The featured speaker was the anti-vaccine activist who appeared in the 2020 movie, Plandemic, which pushed false COVID-19 stories into the mainstream. One session after another discussed bogus claims about the health dangers of mask wearing and vaccines. The convention was organized by a profession that has become a major purveyor of vaccine misinformation during the pandemic, chiropractors dot at a time when the Surgeon General says misinformation has become an urgent threat to public health, an investigation by the Associated Press found a vocal and influential group of chiropractors has been capitalizing on the pandemic by sowing fear and mistrust of vaccines. Public health advocates are alarmed by the number of chiropractors who have hitched themselves to the anti-vaccine movement and used their public prominence and sheen of medical expertise to undermine the nation's response to a COVID-19 pandemic that has killed more than 700,000 Americans, people trust them. They trust their authority, but they also feel like they're a nice alternative to traditional medicine, said Erica DeWald of Vaccinate Your Family, who tracks figures in the anti-vaccine movement. Mainstream medicine will refer people out to a chiropractor not knowing that they could be exposed to misinformation. You go because your back hurts, and then suddenly you don't want to vaccinate your kids. The purveyors of vaccine misinformation represent a small but vocal minority of the nation's 70,000 chiropractors, many of whom advocate for vaccines. In some places, Chiropractors have helped organize vaccine clinics or been authorized to give COVID-19 shots. And chiropractic is not the only healthcare profession whose members have been associated with COVID-19 misinformation. Some medical doctors have spread dangerous falsehoods about vaccines, a problem so concerning that the national group representing state medical boards warned in July that doctors who push vaccine disinformation could have their licenses revoked. But the pandemic gave a new platform to a faction of chiropractors who had been stirring up anti-vaccine misinformation long before COVID-19 arrived, driven by interpretations of 19th-century chiropractic beliefs that medicine interferes with the body's natural flow of energy. Chiropractic was founded in 1895 by D.D. Palmer, a magnetic healer who argued that most disease was a result of misaligned vertebrae. Its early leaders rejected the use of surgery and drugs, as well as the idea that germs cause disease. Instead, they believe the body has an innate intelligence and the power to heal itself if it is functioning properly, and that chiropractic care can help it do that. Even before the pandemic, many chiropractors became active in the so-called health freedom movement, advocating in state legislatures from Massachusetts to South Dakota to allow more people to skip vaccinations. Then the pandemic hit, creating new avenues for profit. The first complaint the Federal Trade Commission filed under the COVID-19 Consumer Protection Act was in April against a Missouri chiropractor. It alleges he falsely advertised that vaccines do not stop the spread of the virus, but that supplements he sold for $24 per bottle plus $9.95 shipping did. He says he did not advertise his supplements that way and is fighting the allegations in court. Nebraska chiropractor Ben Tapper landed on the disinformation dozen, a list compiled by the Center for Countering Digital Hate, which says he is among the small group of people responsible for nearly two-thirds of anti-vaccine content online. Tapper went viral with posts downplaying the dangers of COVID-19, criticizing Big Pharma, and stalking fears of the vaccine. Tapper said he has been called a quack and lost patience, and that Venmo and PayPal seized his accounts. In his view, the public is being told that they need a vaccine to be healthy, which he doesn't believe is true. He said vaccines have no place in what he calls the wellness and prevention paradigm. Another chiropractor, who has frequently appeared on the right when show operated by conspiracy theorist Alex Jones to sell supplements, was also a donor to an organization that was behind the anti-vaccine demonstration on January 6. It's unclear how widespread anti-vaccine sentiment is in the ranks of chiropractors, but there are some clues. Stephen Pearl, a professor at the University of Bridgeport School of Chiropractic, recently surveyed thousands of chiropractors across the United States. He said his and other surveys show that less than 20% of chiropractors have unorthodox views, such as opposition to vaccines.
Pearl called that group an exceedingly vocal, engaged minority. Just 58% of licensed chiropractors and 55% of chiropractic assistants in Oregon were vaccinated as of September 5th. That's compared to 96% of dentists, 92% of NDs, 83% of registered nurses, 68% of naturopathic physicians, and 75% of the general public. But dozens of chiropractors spread doubt on their own websites about vaccines, including those for COVID-19. One chiropractor in North Carolina says people who get flu shots are poisoning themselves. A patient testimonial on the website of a chiropractor in Georgia proclaims, Dr. Liu has taught me how toxic shots and vaccinations are. Another, for a chiropractor in Pennsylvania, says that in less than two months of treatments, the vaccination against contracting diphtheria had been expelled from my body. A chiropractor in Hollywood warns of the dangers and unfortunately the evil associated with the new COVID-19 vaccine. A Michigan chiropractor, Kyle McCamey, tells patients on a pediatric intake form if you would like information regarding the dangers of vaccines and how to refuse them, let us know. The line is punctuated by a smiley face emoji. McCamey offered to write notes exempting people from vaccine and mask mandates, and said even if they weren't a patient, they could become one and get a note, according to a Facebook post spotted by the ABC affiliate in South Bend, Indiana. He wrote in the post that is a licensed doctor of chiropractic, I have the same authority as a medical doctor to write exemption notes. McCamey did not return messages seeking comment. The pandemic has also led to huge fundraising opportunities for chiropractors and anti-vaccine groups. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.